So in question number three, what you have is you have basically the same exact thing, except that you have lead iodide. So you have lead iodide that's going to break into the lead, and then two iodides here, and so your Ksp is going to be equal to your lead times your iodide squared, like so. I got an I, I got a C, and I got an E here. We really don't care about that because it's a solid. And it says, in a saturated solution, the value of the iodide is 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. Now, assuming you didn't start with any of those guys to begin with because they're telling you that it's saturated, then that means this is 2.5 times 10 to the negative third, which means that it had to have gone up by 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. But because it's a 2 to 1 ratio here, this did not go up by 2.5 times 10 to the negative third. That would be a 1 to 1 ratio. Instead, it went up by half of that. So this had to have gone up by 125 times 10 to the negative third because, again, it's a 1 half ratio here. So this is 125 times 10 to the negative third. I now have my equilibrium amounts, and remember that when you have equilibrium amounts, those equilibrium amounts can go right into your equation, and so consequently, my Ksp then is going to be 125 times 10 to the negative third times 250 times 10 to the negative third squared. So you get out your calculator, 2.5 times 10 to the negative third, 2.5 times 10 to the negative third, and 125 times 10 to the negative third. Assuming I did my math right, it's about 7.8 times 10 to the negative ninth. So there you go. That's your guy.